You have no idea how disappointed I am. But I left my camera at my office. So I'm having to film this video on my phone, but I'm still freaking filming it. So as you can see today, I decided to do, I mean, I guess you'd call this corpse paint, but this is a makeup look based on Eric from Wattain's signature look. Here, have a peek. What do you think? And while I was searching for inspo pictures of Eric, I found this, this article, the 10 scariest metal frontmen. I have not looked through this list. I thought we could do this together and I'd make a little video out of it. This is from OC Weekly. Now let's check it out and see who the 10 scariest metal frontmen are. <laughs> Number 10, Papa Emeritus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Emeritus from Ghost. I mean, I don't know. Next is Gigi Allen, and I'm sorry, I I don't know who he is, and I don't know the bands that he was affiliated with, but it looks like he was more of like a punk guy. Anyway, moving on. Attila from Mayhem. Girl, yes. Okay, he is so creepy. Um... <laughs> Every time we see Mayhem, it's it's chilling. He is very, very scary in the best way. Number seven is Corthon from Bathory. You know, I don't really know much about him as a person, but, you know, seems legit. Number six, Juan from Brujeria. Or is it Brujeria? I don't know. Well, I don't really listen to them, but I did feature one of their shirts on my offensive band shirts video the last one I did so I mean that checks out number five golf from Gorgoroth I also agree I knew he was gonna be on this list number four Glenn Bitten from Deicide um yeah yeah I think he's scary number three Eric Danielson from Wattain yeah and I love him Eric is really an inspiration because he comes in such a small package, but he's still so scary. I really look up to him in that way because he has a lot of power uh, regardless of his stature. Number two, John from Dissection. You know, I've never watched an interview with John or anything like that, uh, but he's up there on my wall. Um, that also checks out. Number one. Varg Vikernes. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe at one point. He's not really scary now. What do you think? <laughs> That's a pretty fun list. It makes me want to like make my own. Let me, let me tell you who really scares me. Um, like in the metal community, it's not really like black metal or death metal people, but it's sludge people that scare me. I don't know why. They're so intimidating. And I've said this before, but like I hate God and stuff like that. Like, they scare me. Okay, so since I've got you here, why don't we pull up another article? This is the top 10 scariest metal bands, and this article is from LA Weekly. Number 10, Demu. I don't really know how. Number nine, agoraphobic nosebleed. Number eight, Church of Misery. I don't know Church of Misery. Number nine, ghost. Are you kidding me? What is scary about ghosts? Please tell me. Their costumes? Ooh. Number six, the body. Never heard of them. <laughs> Number five, behemoth. Uh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a little scary. They're a little scary. Number four, mournful, mournful Congregation. Who made this list? I've never heard of them either. Number three, Tetragrammicide. Uh, never heard of them. Number two, Watain. Yeah. Yeah. Number one, Oranzi Pazuzu. Ooh. Most Unsettling Album of 2016. Okay, I haven't listened to them, but now I want to. And there you go, there's some of the top 10 scariest people and scariest bands. That was kind of anticlimactic, but I really wanted to show you my Eric makeup look. So 
these kinds of videos, I feel like we could go somewhere with this. Let me know if you have any ideas, like, in this area of, like, scariest bands, scariest albums, scariest people in metal, or, um, you know, reacting to other lists like this. Also, let me know who you think is scary um, in the metal community. Tell me your thoughts. Like I said, I'm kind of scared of sludge people. <laughs> okay, that's all for now. Goodbye.